Hi, earlier this year, 23-year-old entrepreneur Stuart McLaren entered the wide format print market with Your Print Partner in Lincoln. In August this year, he brought print in-house with the £70,000 Mamaki Director Textile Printer. Now, just 11 months since the formation, he has five staff, is looking for another three and is online for a first-year turnover of £600,000. So I'm here today to talk to Stuart about why he got into wide format in the first place and his vision for the future. Hi Stuart, welcome to the world of wide format print. I guess the first question has got to be, why did you enter the sector? It's kind of a strange one. Uh, my background is sports management. We do a lot of major sports events and concerts. Uh, on and off the water as well, we do a lot with powerboat racing. And uh, earlier this year, uh, I decided that maybe it was time to do something a bit different. We worked a lot with branding at events, flags, to create the image of sponsors to make sure that they're happy with what they get. And they spend a lot of money at these sort of venues and uh, the manufacturing side of it was quite hard to get hold of the right material on quick turnarounds so we decided that uh, it was possible that we could become a print broker and start uh, selling the product to the people who needed it. So how did you turn your early vision for your print partner into reality? It was kind of a strange one obviously being quite young it was uh, a lot of money to invest setting up offices, staff, marketing, websites. Uh, I managed to secure a business partner who created the company and started uh, working with us, who's now actually stepped back even more to leave myself to run it. Uh, and again, with it being a print broker company, we were quite lucky that we didn't have to have the big machinery to start with. So we were able to secure enough funding mm -hmm. and then start winning works off the background of what, uh, with sports. Initially you set up as a print broker, but in August you bought the Mamaki Director Textile Machine, bringing print in-house. Was that the right move and was textiles always the direction? It was definitely a strange one. Uh, in the UK we don't have much printing that's produced direct to textiles of the type of work that we do. We, we had like a three year business plan when we started that the main idea was that we would have uh, produced from another company and then slowly start producing banners like a lot of companies go straight into PVC work as it's quick and simple to use and the machinery is uh -huh. relatively cheap. So earlier this year when uh, we started receiving a high volume of work and the company we were working with also was receiving a high volume of work, we were beginning to kind of let down customers by not being able to turn around work quick enough. So it was a big decision to invest a substantial sum in buying it. So in our business plan terms, it was next year. In reality, we've made it this year. You've undertaken some high profile jobs already like the F2 powerboat racing and various concerts for Tom Jones, etc. Um, how is it that you managed to get that level of contact and get to those people when you're just a start-up business? Yeah, I definitely think it is. The, Having the contacts from any background, if you're a graphic designer, there's a lot of people that you've done design work for and I'm sure they would want it printed and you could offer a complete package. That was the same with uh, my background because I was working on the event, we aimed to supply a full package from installation to uh, design work and we would bring everything together to make it as simple as possible for the event organiser. So in terms of sports stuff, we've managed to win quite a lot. We've also won a lot of trade accounts straight off as well because they like the fact that it's made in the UK. They like the fact that we do a quick turnaround on all the stuff that leaves our factory. Even when it was, uh, when it was a print broker, we would aim to produce it all in the UK so that we get to um, put the made in UK on all of our flags when they leave this factory. And a lot of people seem to like that idea, especially when you're dealing with some of the higher profile accounts. They really like the fact that it's made in the UK by British people and it's helping the British public. And is there a sustainability story for you in terms of producing textile as well? Yeah, I guess it, basically now we've set ourselves as one of the UK printers of textiles. It's definitely secured the company's future. It's also secured quite a few people's jobs and created more jobs off the back of it. So in, in the terms of sustainability, it's definitely the way forward. Also, with some of these machines that's now out there, 
you, you're able to match European prices, but on the much quicker turnaround. So a lot of the time, the UK buyers will go with the UK. So what percentage of your turnover do you expect to come from the in-house wide format print production that, you, that you're doing now? Uh, with most of our customers, some of uh, they use the fabric branding for events mainly. Uh, stage backdrops, mm -hmm. etc. But however, we've seen a big turn from PVC a couple of years ago. Everyone would use PVC at these sort of events. So our outsourcing now, what we're actually purchasing, is probably only about 10% of what we actually sell. By the end of this year, I would say that it might even be down to 5%. So many more people are going to the fabrics. Uh, obviously, with our leaflet printing and promotional mm. stuff, that will always be on posters and leaflets. Uh, but in terms of outdoor displays and stuff, most of it, I would say, by the end of this year slash early next year, will be on the fabrics. Now that you're in um, printed textile production, you're obviously doing a lot of work for the events and branding sector. But are there any other markets where you see particular um, opportunity for growth? Yes, definitely. Uh, there's a couple of big areas that you could now move into. Uh, the first one being internal shop hanging displays. You see a lot of them now in, in places like Next, I believe now. They no longer use the cardboard cutouts. They have a nice hanging banner display. You've also got now got all the show homes estates when we have a new building sites. Again, they used to have the old PVC banners. They're all moving to the breathable stuff because of uh, the Harris fencing being blown. Again, they also have all their show home poles where you go on some sites and you'll see over 100, 200 flags on a site, which obviously could never be made out of PVC. And then the biggest one, which a lot of people is going into, is internal interior design. Uh, you've got things like your little cushions, your internal uh, roller blinds, your curtains, all of that sort of stuff we can now print on this same machine. Uh, it's just buying the right fabrics, playing about with it, and making sure that you're comfortable with what, what your overall image is uh, of what you're trying to achieve. The other big one as well is that we can now do all canvases. So in the, where we used to not be able to enter any of that field, we can now do up to 1.8 meters wide in canvas. So uh, again, it's another uh, string to the bow as such where we, we can add extra things into our new ever-growing website. I know that you've only obviously been in textile production, print production for a short while, um, but have you seen any particular downsides so far? Yeah, I would say our biggest downside, uh, but it's a nice thing to have, is that the finishing of the product, uh, with PVC in that you can just cut it, eyelet it. With all your fabrics and that, we sew every banner around the edge, add a reinforced hem when we're uh, adding things like flags and that. So therefore, basically the finishing is the biggest downside. It's a lot of man hours to sew it because there's no machine out there that will just mm. automatically sew them. And every job being bespoke, you can't just get a machine that would sew it, mm. which I would love to have because my life would be a lot easier. Well, that's a nice message <laughs> to the manufacturers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but overall, we, I think the other thing is as well, when you start getting technical with things like flags and that, that you make sure that you finish it the right way. These products are going out up a flag post. A lot of people are used to just producing their standard PVC banners where they're quite easy, they're, they're cut to a shape, normally a rectangle, easy to install and that. When we're talking about flags and that, if, it, if it's not cut to the right angle when it's curved, you're going to have a crease going across the middle of it and it just doesn't look right and you'll never be happy. I'm one of these people that go out in the factory and start playing with it myself and go, actually, I don't like this bit, we need to play with it. So it's always about improving what we can do as well with the fabrics. At the time of installing the Mamaki, you said you were looking to double your staff to eight. Um, you've now got five people in-house. I know you're looking still for another three. So what's your structure now and do you expect that to change very much over the coming few months? So the, the machinery that we've got is a very easy machine to operate. Uh, basically, a graphic designer can operate the machine. So how we've done it is we'll have a full-time graphic designer who will run our machine for us. We'll have a couple of people in our warehouse for dispatch. We, and we'll obviously have to increase our sales team to do all the admin and uh, paperwork that's behind the amount of orders that we're processing now. So in terms of that, I can't see it changing much more in that terms. Most companies could easily drop one of these machines in tomorrow and it would work in the fact 
uh, that they should have the staff in place. The only bit of technical stuff is making sure you print the right inks on fabrics and things like that. Mm -hmm. So looking ahead, what's your vision now, Stuart, for your print partner going forward? I would quite like to see your print partner going forward in installing another machine. Uh, we've already looked at the possibility of a 3.2 metre wide print press, again direct to fabric. There's a big demand for uh, flags at the moment because of the Olympics and outdoor sports events. So therefore, we, we, would, able, we would be able to print three flags side by side. Uh, or three banners side by side or even offer the full 3.2 metre wide to clients. So therefore in that terms I'd love to have another machine in the factory. However we might need a slightly bigger building before we That's do fair that. Enough. So do you think you've made the right decision to move into wide format then? Yeah definitely. Uh, it's definitely something that is worth getting into. It's a bit of a headache to start with with securing finance and other bits and pieces but once it's all there and working, it's just the general maintenance, make sure you look after the machine and that. But yeah, it's definitely the right way forward for us, better than the PVC option for us. Brilliant, thank you. No problem.